Carl Icahn is an American entrepreneur that made it big in the hedge fund field. He's the founder and controlling shareholder in the Carl Icahn Enterprises. He is known for being an activist investor and a corporate writer. He was born in New York City and grew up in Queens in a Jewish family. His family didn't have much. His mother was a teacher and his father was a substitute teacher. He went to Far Rockaway High School and then Princeton University. One interesting fact is that his family didn't have the money to pay the accommodation. Carl earned the money needed playing poker. He said the first time he played he lost all the money made in that week. But the week later he read a book on how to play it and continued to win. Also because he didn't drink while others did. He graduated from Princeton University with a bachelor degree in philosophy and later attended New York University School of Medicine, but he dropped out to join the Army Reserves. Once he finished his service, he started working on Wall Street in 1961 as a stockbroker. In 1968, he started Icahn Co. with $150,000 of his own money and $400,000 from his uncle. He started by being an options trader and mergers arbitrage. He started with options trading and mergers arbitrage. The last strategy means buying companies that are said to be taken over by other companies in order to take the premium price paid to the shareholder. He later started taking controlling positions in companies. He started to become very well known in 1985. In that year, ICANN led a corporate takeover in the airline company TWA. He took the company private and sold its assets in order to take the money back and got out of the deal with $400 million in profit. In 86, he tried to take over US Steel in a 7 billion deal, but it failed. Icahn bought big in video games producer Take-Two Interactive in 2006 and continued to buy until 2009. He bought a 9.2% stake in biotech company Telic. He's also bought big in WCI Communications before it was bought by Leonard Corporation. He also bought big in Motorola. In 2007, he handled a $2.3 billion takeover of Lear Corporation. He also owns ACF Industries, American Railcar Industries, and Philips Services. In late 2007, he bought a 13% stake in Bay Systems, a software company which was later bought out by Oracle two months later. He also bought back stock in Icon Enterprises and increased his position in Biogen. He also had interests in various casinos in Las Vegas, but he sold his stakes in 2008. He also had a big position in Yahoo for a while before he sold it. He had so many other deals, I'll name some of the most important ones. Herbalife, which saw the fight between him and Bill Ackman, which I later covered, so make sure to subscribe. Bill Ackman shorted Herbalife stock and made a documentary about how, according to him, Herbalife was a pyramid scheme. Icahn bought even more and finally won the bet because in the end the stock continued to rise. Icahn made an investment in mobility app Lyft in 2015 when it wasn't even listed on the stock market. He even has a 7.13% stake in Xerox. He also owns big stakes in Chenier Energy, Gannett & Co. He even amassed a stake in car rental company Hertz. Icahn has also been very active in philanthropy and politics. He renewed the Downing Stadium in New York and renamed it the Icahn Stadium. He donated the Carl Icahn Center for Science and the Icahn Scholar Program, which donates tuition, books, and expenses for 10 students each year to Code Rosemary Hall Private College. 
He even donated a new laboratory to Princeton University called Carl Icahn Laboratory. He also donated to the Mount Sinai Hospital in New York City. He even built different buildings to host homeless people in New York City, especially mothers with children. In 2010, Icahn joined the Giving Pledge started by Warren Buffett, which I've also covered. During the 2016 elections, he endorsed Donald Trump. The president said he would name Icahn as head of the treasury, but in the end, he named Steve Mnuchin. He had his first marriage in 1979, which ended in 1999, after he had two sons, and remarried the same year. I leave in the description the book about the Herbalife fight between him and Bill Ackman, written by Scott Wapner. Link in the description. This is it for today. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet and like the video because it's very important since we just started out. If you want to support us, you can do it either through PayPal or by doing your regular shopping on Amazon after clicking one of the links down below. I wish you all a good day and see you the next time.